Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I am going to explain XLOOKUP in detail. Here, I will explain you what are the benefits of using XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP and also I will explain how you can replace index plus match with XLOOKUP. Along with that, I am going to explain 4 advanced XLOOKUP technique where in the first example, I will help you explain how you can use XLOOKUP to look up only a part of the name. For example, here you have Bob name here which you want to look up and in the table you have suffix with Bob name where in another example, I will help you explain where you can look up a higher or lower salary versus the numbers which is mentioned in the table. In the third example, I will explain you how to combine two lookup value. For example, here I want to look up department in this column. Along with that, I will also look up New York from this column. So here I look up two items from two different columns from department and location and then I'll get output from another column called employee ID and name. And in the last example, I'll explain how to look up a value which lies between a range. For example, here you want to look up a value which is between 90 to 97,000 in the column salary within this table. So let's go ahead with learning all these examples. We will start from the first example where you want to replace VLOOKUP with XLOOKUP and I will also show you the advantage of XLOOKUP in comparison to VLOOKUP. So here we want to look up employee ID here which is 109 and we want to look up in this table where employee ID is in the first column and we want to get output of name department salary. So to do that in XLOOKUP we will write is equal to XLOOKUP press tab We'll select the value, we'll press F4 three times, F4, 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 so that when we drag this formula towards the right, the employee ID column should be fixed. Now we'll press comma here. In VLOOKUP, we had to select entire table where the lookup value should be in the first column. But in XLOOKUP, you have to only select here which is the column where this employee ID is present. So we'll select this column here, then we'll press F4, we'll press comma. Now we just need to select the output column. For example, here the output column is name column. So we'll select this name column entirely. We will close the bracket and we'll press enter. We see that we have got the output IV which is present in this column against the employee ID 109. Now we can drag this formula towards the right to get the department and the salary. And we have got this correctly. Here you have learned how you can replace XLOOKUP with VLOOKUP. Now in this example, you want to look up a value and the output column is behind the salary column which you cannot do in VLOOKUP and you usually use index plus match to get this data. But here XLOOKUP will make this simpler. So how you can do that? You will write is equal to XLOOKUP, press tab, you will select the lookup value here which is salary, we will press F4 three times, F4, 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 we will press comma. Here the lookup value is salary column, so we'll select the salary column, we'll press F4, we'll press comma. Now we need to select the employee ID column which is behind the salary column. So here we'll select the employee ID column and then we can close the bracket. Here we see that we have got the employee ID for the salary 80,000 and it was not possible using VLOOKUP because in VLOOKUP we cannot get the value which is behind the lookup column. Here we see that we have got the employee ID 105 which is corresponding to the salary 80,000. This explains how XLOOKUP is better than VLOOKUP and even in terms of writing formula, it is simpler than index plus match. Now we can drag this formula towards the right and here we see that we have got the employee ID, name and department for the employee whose salary is 80,000. Let's move to the third example. In this example, we want to look up Bob whereas in the lookup column, Bob is not present and we have some suffix with Bob. So here we want to XLOOKUP by using some wildcard. So to do that, you'll write is equal to XLOOKUP, press tab, the lookup value is Bob, so we'll click this, press F4 three times, F4, 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 then we'll press AND symbol and in double quotes, we'll write star. So we'll open the double quotes, we'll press star and then we'll close the double quotes. We'll press comma, here the name has to be looked up in the name column. So we'll select this column, we'll press F4, we'll press comma, we need the output as department column. So we'll select the department column here. We'll press comma two times comma comma. So here we see that we have an option called wildcard character match and we are doing the same in this example. So we'll press number two here and we'll close the bracket. We'll press enter. We see here that for the employee whose name contained Bob name, we have got the department as IT. Now suppose if you change the name to Grace. So we'll change the name to Grace. We'll get the output as HR because here the column which has grace as part of the name is having department HR. 
Now we can drag the formula towards the right. We see that we have got the output 55,000 in Chicago for the name Grace. This completes the third requirement. Now let's move to the next requirement. In this example, we want to look up employee ID for the salary 45,000. But we see that we don't have 45,000 salary in this column. So here we want to get the output which has the next biggest salary. To do this, we'll write is equal to X lookup, press tab, we'll select the salary here, press F4 three times, F4, 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 we'll press comma, we need to select the column where the salary is present, so we'll select this column, we'll press F4, we'll press comma, the return array should be employee ID, so we'll select this employee ID column here, we'll press comma, again we'll press comma, so here we see that we have got an option here, exact match on next smaller item, and then we also have an option called exact match on next larger item. And here we want to have the output where the salary is greater than 45,000. So we'll select number one here and we we'll close the bracket and we we'll press enter. So the next salary after 45,000 is 50,000. And here the employee ID is 101. So we see that we have got the employee ID for the next highest salary of 45,000. Suppose here if I write the salary of 90,000 and we see that the 90,000 is not present here. So the next highest salary after 90,000 is 95,000. And we see that we have got the right output here, which is 110. Now, if you drag the formula towards the right, we have got the right name and department for the employee ID 110, where the salary is greater than 90,000. This completes the fourth requirement. We generally get the next requirement in day to day life, where you want to look up multiple columns, where you want to look up here department and location together. So here the department is IT and here you have the location as New York, whereas only this row matches with IT and New York. So here you want to get the employee ID of this row, where the employee ID should be 104 and the name should be David. So here, how do we do this requirement? We'll select the cell, we'll write is equal to X lookup. We'll press tab, we'll write number one, press comma. Now here, let's go and search the first requirement. So here we want to look up IT in this department. So we'll open the bracket, we'll select the department column here, we'll press F4. Now here we want to check if this is equal to IT. So we'll write this equal to, and here we want to select the lookup value as IT. So we'll select the cell, we'll press F4 three times, F4, F4, F4. Now we'll close the bracket. Now we want to proceed with the second lookup. So we'll write in two, We'll again open the bracket. Now we'll look up the second variable. So here we want to look up if the location is New York. So we'll select this column. We'll press F4. Now here we'll match this with New York. So we'll write is equal to. So we see that the New York cell have got it done. So we'll select this cell and then we'll move to the next cell, which is New York. We'll press F4 three times. F4, F4, F4. We'll close the bracket. We'll press comma and here the return array should be employee ID. So we'll select this column. We'll close the bracket and we'll press enter. We see that we have got the output where the department is IT and the location is New York and we have got the employee ID is 104. Now we can drag the formula towards the right. We see that we have got the name David also for this department and the location. In this way, you can do multiple matches using XLOOKUP in a very simplified manner. Now let's move to the last requirement. In this requirement, you want to get a salary which lies between the range 90,000 and 97,000. And we see that this both salary does not exist in this column. So to do that, we'll write is equal to X lookup, press tab. So we will again write one as we did in the previous example. We'll press comma. Again, we'll open the round bracket. We'll select the first column for which we need to do the first lookup. So we'll select this column. We'll press F4. Now we want this number should be greater than 90,000. So we'll press greater than symbol. We'll select this cell. We'll press F4 three times. F4, F4, F4. We'll close the bracket. We'll do again multiplication. Now we'll open the bracket. Now we will do second lookup. So we'll again select this column. We'll press F4. Now we have to compare this with the second number. So we'll press less than symbol. We'll select the second number. So here second number is hidden. So we'll select this cell and move towards right. So we see here that there is a dotted line. So it means the second number is selected. We'll press F4 three times. F4, F4, F4. We'll close the bracket. We'll press comma. Now here we need the return array. So return array means what output we need. So here we need employee ID. So we'll select this column and we'll close the bracket. We'll press enter. We see that we have got the output 110. Now let's go to 110 value in the table. And we see that the salary of this employee ID is 95,000, which is between 90 and 97,000. Now let's change the value. So let's make it 45,000 and then let's make it 52,000. So we have got the value here 101 and the 101 salary is 50,000, which lies between 45,000 and 52,000. We'll drag the formula towards the right. 
and we see that we have got the right name here. This completes explanation of all six examples of VLOOKUP and you can use this in your daily life to replace VLOOKUP and index and match formula.